it's a microcosm of every conversation Gerard and I have. You know, where you, what if we do an event and the villain is uh, there? There, it's a malevolent dairy corporation because isn't isn't milk just weird? And I'm like, yeah, man, like milk is weird. Uh, guys, give us an idea of what you guys are working on next. Next up for me, uh, yeah, I'm still doing Justice League of America and Supergirl, but uh, Justice League is crossing over with Doom Patrol, uh, Gerard Way's Doom Patrol, uh, in January for an event called Milk Wars. The first time the Young Animals crossed over with the DC Universe. Amazing, amazing covers by Frank Quitely, amazing interior art by ACO from Midnighter. The most artful and strangest event book that DC's done in a long time. I was going to ask, how are you balancing the traditional superheroism and drama of the DC Universe with the whacked outness of... <laughs> The Young Animals um, universe. It's, you know, well, that's, it's a microcosm. It's a microcosm of every conversation Gerard and I have, you know, where, you, okay, what if we do an event and the villain is, uh, they're, they're, it's a malevolent dairy corporation because isn't, isn't milk just weird? And I'm like, yeah, man, like, milk is weird. And then I go away and find a way to sort of, you know, we, we figure out how to make that a narrative. Uh, it's all about staying true to what the characters mean. You're lucky with Doom Patrol that they are sort of these protectors of the strange and they stand up for people with weird backstories and circumstances. So luckily, a lot of the people in the Justice League have that same background. So there's more in common with them than you think, and that's part of the thing that makes the book exciting. I'm working on Snagglepuss, uh, Exit Stage Left, the Snagglepuss Chronicles, which tells the story of uh, the, the pink lion that we all know and love as a gay Southern Gothic playwright being uh, tormented by the uh, House of American Activities in the 1950s. Are you going to be using like, the, some of the real life uh, characters from the, those 50s uh, hearings? Well, yeah, actually, I, I'm not using the actual Congress people that were in the hearings, but I'm using the actual hearings. And then a lot of the other Hanna-Barbera uh, characters show up in the story as well. I love these books because each one of them, every time I hear the premise behind them, I stop and I say, how can anybody have come up with that? How'd you come up with the, the pitch for, the, for this book? Well, it started out on Facebook. I was just kind of writing funny lines of like Huckleberry Hound and uh, Snagglepuss kind of talking as sort of Southern Gothic playwrights, like saying things like, oh, my heart is a candle of thieves, you know, and, and uh, talking about their mothers and stuff. And Marie, my editor, said, you know what, you could actually do this as a comic. When are you going to get involved uh, with these kind of crossover books? Come on. Oh, man, I, well, we're figuring out the next one. I did. Even weirder. I, people, <laughs> yes, I did do Martian Manhunter meets Marvin the Martian, and, and that was uh, a strange one to put together, and we're actually figuring out what's next, so hopefully this year.